Let's see, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. G, G. And that is how you win. You just make Pirate Warrior. Hello everyone, Gumball here, and welcome back to Hearthstone Tavern Brawl. A uh, bit of an awkward start there. Uh, come on, load. Oh, there we go. Uh, today, we have, once again, Clockwork Card Dealer. Uh, it specifically says standard now in the title, uh, which is interesting, so we can't actually get cards from uh, Wild. So, Tinkertown Gnomes are testing their prototype card bot, Optimotron. Yes, I had to say it like that. Uh, the card you draw on turn 1 will be a 1 cost card, if you have one on turn 2, a 2 cost card. Now, <coughs> I bought uh, with some leftover uh, monies I had on my account the um, the welcome bundle, and I got Jaraxxus, so I'm going to try uh, using Warlock. So, for 1 mana, Flame Imp is pretty good. Um, I'm not sure about 0 mana and stuff like that. We'll just go one at a time for now and see what's the most value at each cost that I have. Uh, Stormwind Champion and one other card. Medivh is pretty pointless. Curator doesn't pull much, but it's just a solid card, I guess, so we'll go with that. Sure! <laughs> Let's put this monstrosity to the test. Um, even though I don't think I have a single... yeah, neither of my quests really work as Warlock. But, we should try it anyway. Uh, if we go to the Hearthstone top decks, actually, let's see if they're suggesting anything. Um, I'm not going to try any of them, but we could take a look. So they suggest uh, there's a Isharaj Secret Hunter, uh, which seems to be the best one. Ah, okay, so that's a specific deck. Uh, but it's actually recommended that you just run meta, deck, uh, meta decks. So, obviously this brawl is kind of... sad. Okay, well we'll draw a one drop, so that's a... that's a curve. So it is looking like meta decks could be the way to go, but, um, oh shoot, that, that really sucks actually. Hmm. I think that's, do we just wait? I think we're actually in a better position if we just wait. Oh no, I could have coined out Dark Peddler, we would have had... A one cost, and then we would have drawn a two cost last turn. Oh, sorry, yeah. It would have probably been better to play it like that. Um, having a curve is actually kind of pointless because you're just going to draw into the curve anyway, so. Um, you really want just solid cards. I don't know, maybe having maybe having a curve is good if you have off curve cards. I'll go with Possessed Villager because of the Councilman. It's a bit annoying. Do, 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 do. We have no way of dealing with that. But he has no real way of dealing with that, I don't think. He could go, let's see. Throw the two roots in, it'll be at three. Hero power, aspirant, aspirant's alive. Addled grizzly's alive, and then he could still play something for three. Okay, not great. I think that's actually... That might be better for us just because he doesn't get anything buffed. Um... I think it would have been better doing it the other way if he does have anything for two or three mana. So I'm not sure he paid that, uh, played that right. Crystal Weaver isn't looking so great when we have no demons. Where? 
I'm guessing this deck would never really work uh, with Crystal Weaver. <laughs> Replacing Barnes with a minion could be pretty good. Excuse me. Uh, five, six, five, eight. Do you want one? No. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Okay, I think we just build up a board. Don't do anything in particular. We've taken a, a lot of damage. Um, even though I've built this kind of control lead, the benefit that spells such as... Um, though I don't think I have the, all of these. Uh, but the benefit of spells such as uh, Soulfire and... Gosh, what's it called? Uh, Siphon Soul, uh, etc. is pretty big. Um... Okay, we have seven damage there, so... Oh no, okay, we'll go throw these all in. Uh, kill the adult grizzly. And then throw Madame Goya down and hope for some taunt that is just totally broken. Nope! Concede! Okay, so I've changed the deck up a bit. I completely ignored mana cost. Um, I think I have all Warlock cards though, which is <laughs> not a good sign. Um, I could probably have thrown something out and stuck Ragnaros in there or something. But um, I chucked in some spells, so the deck should be more solid as a deck. Uh, but I still doubt we're ever going to win with this. Um, oh, there we go. Okay, that was weird. Uh, but yeah, I threw out a few of the more aggressive cards in favor of stuff that doesn't get me killed too fast. We could go for a fully aggressive deck, but yeah, it's a bit boring. Oh gosh, that is a bad sign. Okay, I was kind of hoping for a void, um, void Walker there, void cooler, void Walker, void cooler. Brain, brain fart, uh, caller, void walker, void walker, that's the one. Okay, that's a bad sign. Okay, dark peddler, show me your wares. Uh, power overwhelming, I guess. I wonder why he has the priestess. I mean... That alone suggests a newer player. Um, or someone like me, who just doesn't have a bajillion cards. Um, okay, I'm gonna use this because we have nothing and we need some minions. Terrible. Helpful. Okay, that could be good. That could be something for next turn. So we can throw down the Void Walker, we can buff it if we have to with Demon Fire. We can then Soul Fire the Worgen. I think we do want to buff it so that we're not dying to... Oh no, shoot. Um, good point. Hellfire would be nice. Um, I want Cruel. I want the new Legendary, just for Pit Lord, just to make Pit Lord work. Because right now he'd be terrible. Um, so I know I want to Soul Fire this. This will do two damage. Um, do I just want to kill this and keep? No. I think I buff it. Because if he wants to kill it, he's going to have to either have something, or he's going to have to finally get rid of that dumb priestess. Um, what did I discard? Karakazam. Hmm. I'm not sure what else I have for five. Uh, do I have... I have one more Karakazam. I'm going to have to bring up a deck tracker at some point. Um... 
Hellfire? No, it's not that much, but it would be nice. Okay. Throw down there. It's pretty good against this board. Though we can inspire that, which is a minor pain. Okay, went for the simple play. We might just do an Infernal here to have something big on the board. We also get rid of the Divine Shield on that. Looking good. Yep. Okay. Finally a bit of catch-up at least. Um, what do we have for turn 7? Ugh. I don't even know. That is a good question. Oh! Hmm. I'm not sure that was the right play. I'm heading towards dying very quickly. But we have a Crystal Weaver to buff both of them. Um, I really wish I had Siphon Soul. Uh, I also threw away my heal. Might have to throw in some Farseers or something. I guess there's a reason why Reno is so good in Warlock. And why I should not have disenchanted my Reno. Oh, crap. Well played. Why I should not have disenchanted it when I originally thought that League of Explorers was cycling out. Um, yeah. Okay. Our final option is to go with a different class. <laughs> because I don't have much in the way of Warlock and I don't want to try um, experimenting too much at the moment. So, how many cards do I have of this deck that I was looking at? Um, let's see. Okay, so in an act of betrayal to my fellow players at the cost of 600 and something dust, I have made a Pirate Warrior deck. Yes. I want to win that badly. Now I just need to play this right. Now I don't have patches, so that is a bit of a stumbling block. I don't have Finley, which is a bit less of a stumbling block. Um, I'm not sure I'll ever have patches. I don't think he's necessary to Pirate Warrior. Like, people make a big deal about him. I'm not 100% sure as to the advantage of this 1-1 one, one body of... Which is really actually a cool card. But uh, we'll keep the Blood Cell Raider, sure. Uh, actually, we probably should have kept the 3 and not that, but... Okay. Um... I guess he would be nice with the South Sea Deckhand, for example. Uh, if I can get a weapon, this would be pretty nice. I mean, I, I can see that one damage being handy. I'd really like a weapon. Um, fiery War Axe. Please. Yeah! Pirates. Glorious. You ain't pinging my buccaneer. So I think there's certain targets where you just don't go face. Uh, for example, the Mana Worm. Uh, otherwise... Face is generally the place. I think Dread Corsair is one of the ones that's not in the official deck. Um, I think I keep the weapon. Let me check the original deck. No, Dread Corsair is actually in Pirate Warrior. Interesting. So I would replace my cur currently I have Blood to Ica, uh, or Blood to Ica, which would be replaced by Patches. And what's replaced by Finley that I have in this deck? Not quite sure. So that'll upgrade my weapon. 
this will have charge. He goes face. Then I'll use my weapon. Oh no, it wouldn't be broken anyway. I think another bit of a minor annoyance of a target is the uh, Flame Waker, so I'm going to kill that one. But I should end up next turn with, let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 damage. I'm not going to trust that surviving. That was right, yes. There's an Arcanite Reaper, uh, so I guess I'll just equip that actually. Now, I'm going to have to get a new mouse at some point, maybe for Christmas, because it keeps double clicking and not working properly. Sometimes it will cut out, which is a bit annoying. Let's see, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. G, G. And that is how you win. You just make Pirate Warrior. For a turn 6 victory. G, G. I mean, I think that betrayal was worth it for that pack. I'm going to open the pack. Just pray for a gold legendary so I can get patches. Sure, why not? After that betrayal, I'm sure <laughs> I am worthy. <laughs> or not. Okay. Um, we'll get 40 gold from another victory. Let's go again. Let's see if Pirate Warrior could win two games. Sure, why not? Worthy opponent. This is going to be a long video. I think I'm recording. I am recording. Okay. I'm not going to keep the Reaper. I'm not going to keep Leroy. I'm hoping for a Fiery War Axe. Sweet! We win! I believe that's how it works, right? You get a Fiery War Axe, you win the game. I think so. So we can play a Fiery War Axe, then we can play Buccaneer, Coin Out, Deck Hand. No, we played... Sorry, we play Buccaneer, then we can play Fiery War Axe, Coin Out Deckhand. I think I think I said it the wrong way around. Okay, we're gonna coin the War Axe, actually. Uh, that way round, the minion will live. Uh, otherwise he'll just take the two damage. I th I'm gonna kill it. I'm gonna kill it because I don't want my buccaneer to die. Um, I will still, I would still have another minion on the board, but I think if you can get that little turn, it's better than the three damage because he does three damage each time. Uh, he would have also had arcane missiles, so yeah, that was the bet. That was the better way to do it, I think. Though, really, as a pirate warrior, I don't think you're meant to play around anything. I'm going to keep the weapon for the Buccaneer. Okay, just had to take a hair out of my glasses. Um, <laughs> I wonder. I mean, judging by my opponent's blank expression that I assume they have on their face at the moment, or their just expression of pure concentration as they try to figure out how do I win, I've won. I think. So we will have a 5 attack Blood Cell Raider, I believe, or do we play the Cultist? I think we play the Cultist. Ah, my mouse. Okay, now playing the Cutlass means we'll actually have a 6 attack Blood Cell Raider. Um, and we also have a 3 4 body that can deal 3 damage and is less likely to die. And it also means if they play a Flame Waker, we do have something against it, which is highly valuable. Okay, that's a minor annoyance. It does mean he has yet again left our buccaneer to live, which is rather interesting. Excuse me. 
Now, we're getting to turn 5, so my minions are still safe. I think I have little reason to keep the weapon at this point. Oh, the Buccaneer. Uh, it doesn't matter. I don't think it matters, because we have, let's see, 4, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, yeah, it doesn't matter. And I don't think as a warrior, as a pirate warrior, uh, an aggressive pirate warrior, I don't think you can play around anything? Ooh, okay. Let's see, what did they pray? Uh, babbling book, frost nova, frost nova. A load of fireballs. Fire blasts, even. Hmm. Okay. We had the coin, so they don't have flame strike this turn. The only thing that stops my board is cone of cold. That's the only thing that stops me from winning next turn. And Blizzard. Should have remembered that one. Okay. Do I have another source of damage? Let's say Occultist. I'll take it. And I'll armor up. I'm not I'm not gonna play the ooze because if they flame strike, I can well, it doesn't matter anyway, I have Mortal Strike, but maybe they'll have, like, Ice Block, I don't know. It seems to be a Freeze Mage that for some reason has Babbling Book in it. Uh, there's Flame Strike. We win the game! Well played. I'm sorry, Superwoman. Which I believe is a, a opponent I've gone against before. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Do, 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 I guess they're gonna rope. Yep. Looks like it. I mean, you can hear the clicking, and you s can see the amount of times it's hitting the window. Obviously, this isn't working. Ah! Well played! And that, my friends, is the power of Pirate Warrior, which is kind of sad, really. We can buy another pack, though. I am going to buy a Gadgets and one, especially since that increases my chance of getting patches by a very small amount, but uh, by an amount nonetheless. Oh! Oh, there we go, gosh. Golden patches, golden patch. Oh, okay. Uh, would have been nice. Okay, so, uh, small time buccaneer. I just crafted that earlier. That's slightly annoying. Uh, but that is 20 dust, I guess. Uh, some other cards. I really need to get a new mouse. So, yeah, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this episode of Pirate Warrior Wins Again. Um, sadly. Pirate Warrior is not dying anytime soon. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode of Hearthstone Tavern Brawl. If you have, don't forget to leave a like. Let me know that you have, that you would maybe like to see some more. And I'll see you all again next time, where hopefully I won't be playing Pirate Warrior. Bye-bye!